Um, I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, I'm like low key, like disappointed with this box. It's your girl Brandy Shanae and today I have an unboxing for you and it's going to be from Fairy Loot. So let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. So like I said before, I'll be doing an unboxing for Fairy Loot. This is my monthly book box subscription that I pay for every single month at the beginning of every single month. So this is the box for April, I believe. Um, I don't remember the theme, so we're going to find out together. Um, so as I open it, of course, the box says my books, my treasure. And then it's going to have a quote by Raul Dahl right here. And then this is what it looks like as we open it, which has the spoiler card at the very top of the box. And it will tell us the theme. So here is a spoiler card and here is the art print, which I do love. And I do plan on keeping this and framing it somehow, some way. Um, and so the theme for April is bittersweet. So I'm really excited for this box. I believe I know what book it is that's within this box for this month, but I don't know what it looks like. So we're going to see what I think. Hopefully I love it um, because I love this book so, so much. I read about it. I, I've not read about it. I read it and everything. I loved it. So, and it's a Fair Loot exclusive edition. So it has to be bomb, right? So the first item that I see here is this right here, which looks like a little bag of some kind that you could put like anything in here looks like this and it says what is a person if not the marks they leave behind and that is said by the e. swap which i have not read any of the, their books um but i do need to read book, a book like i know i want to read gallant so maybe that'll be the first book that i read by the e. swap but this is what it is right here it's like a little thing that you could put like books in markers whatever you want in it washi tape whatever whatever you desire miscellaneous items so for this item, let's see who made this because I also love to give credit to the people um, that created these uh, specific items for Fairy Loot. Um, so let's see. It says Constellation Canvas Basket um, and it's by uh, Blanca Design. It says new item alert. This canvas basket features a unique design inspired by the invisible life of Addie LaRue by the Iswab. It's perfect for storing books and items. So yeah, this is perfect. Love this. I plan on using this. I can put it on my um, bookshelf right there at the top. Um, and I'll probably just use it like maybe as like books that I've already read that month. That way I can keep them all together when I do my wrap ups. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. I do love this. I love the idea of it. And then the next item, I see this and it says Strange the Dreamer Moth Pin and it's designed by Jez Hawk. And I love Strange the Dreamer so so much I love Sarai and Laszlo I just love both the books so amazing so this is the pin and it looks so beautiful like that looks gorgeous I love this so so much now for this pin it's dreamer pen it says the pin features a beautiful moth plucked from the city of weep which is inspired by strange the dreamer by Lainey Taylor which I love her books I do have like daughter's smoke and bone trilogy up there that I do need to read which I feel like sometime this year I plan on reading because I really need to read those um but yeah I love this pen I cannot wait to put it on my pen collection right here so there you have it is this looks really pretty then the next item here is like a little tray and this is like from the night circus obviously so here is the tray a little close-up sorry about the glare and it says, and there are really never endings. <laughs> yeah, it really says this. And there are really never endings, happy or otherwise. Um, by Aaron Mor Morgan Stern, The Night Circus. Which is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I don't know what I'll use this for. Maybe I'll use it for like my jewelry and my earrings and stuff like that. So I think this will be useful for that. Uh, but for this, let's see who created this. Um, so it says, Night Circus Tray, designed by Stella Bookish Art. Uh, this beautiful tray showcases a dreamy quote from the Night Circus by Aaron uh, Morgenstern. So, all right. Yep, yeah, I definitely will use this for earrings and necklaces and bracelets and whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Any accessories that I have, I'll use this tray for. Okay, so we have that item. And then we have a book. And this is not the 
other book. So this is a book that they added into the box. And oh, this cover looks beautiful. It says An Arrow to the Moon. And this is by Emily Pan. Emily XR Pan or Pan. And then it has the sprayed edges, which is beautiful. I do love. And I've heard a little bit about this book, but not completely. And I believe it's digitally signed by the author. So digital signature. And on the back, it says Luminous Love Story Cuts Bone Deep. Um, it says Hunter Yi has perfect aim with the bow and arrow, but all else in his life veers off course. Haunted by his family's past mistakes, the only things keeping him from running away are his younger brother, a supernatural wind, and the bewitching girl at his new school. Luna Chang dreads the future. Graduation looms ahead and her parents' expectations are stifling. Then her life is turned upside down by the strange new boy in her class, the unearthly fireflies that follow her around in an ominous crack that begins to spread across the town of Fairbridge. As Hunter and Luna navigate the feud between their families and uncover hidden secrets, everything around them begins to fall apart. All they can depend on is their love, but time is running out and fate will have its way. And then the blurb, it says, a spellbinding reinterpretation of Romeo and Juliet filled with romance, magic, and Chinese mythology. So this might be a good book to read next month, uh, especially for Asian Readathon. Um, yeah, and I just love the cover of this so, so much. And even on the spoiler card, um, it says, a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet infused with Chinese mythology. Your Fairy Loot Edition features an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and a digital author signature. So there we have it. So I might actually read this next month. Oh my god, next month. No, ugh, I can't talk. Next month is going to be crazy. But I just, I love this so, so much. I'm, I'm excited to read this. I love Romeo and Juliet retellings and I love the story. And this is, uh, has Chinese mythology in it. I'm all for it. So yeah, I cannot wait to read this. And then the next item... It's like in a, in a box right here. It says heart, fairy lights. Okay, so we have some fairy lights in here. And I'm going to assume they're shaped like hearts, which they're cute. Uh, eventually, we'll use these for something. So yeah, we have some fairy lights that looks like little hearts, like little bubble hearts. So this is really cute. Um, so this, it says heart fairy, uh, fairy lights, which is by the team of Fairy Loop. It says, add some ambiance to your reading space with these fairy lights. They are perfect to hang on your bookshelves or to drape over your bed. That's cool. But I think what I'll do, like I've seen people put them in jars and stuff to make it more decorative. So I might put them, find a nice little jar to put on my shelf and just put them in there and they'll look really, put, really pretty. So that's probably what I'll do for these. So yes, that's pretty cool. Add some little flavor to my shelves. So we have those. And then next... Let's see what else is in here. We also have the deck of cards that was missing um, last month in my box. So let me go ahead and show you what they are. I don't remember. I think it was, it says Threads of Fate. Yeah, that was uh, last month's theme. Um, they forgot to add these into my box. And so they were in, going to ensure me that, the, that they were going to be in this month's box. So let me go ahead and take the plastic off. So this is what it looks like right here. Here's the back of the box. And then let's see what they look like. I have, I don't really play with cards a lot, but I mean, whenever I do play with them, I mean, mostly spades, but I haven't played spades in a while. Uh, last time I played spades was like with my family in 2014, I believe. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the cards. And here are the edges. And this is what they look like. Uh, this is the king. This is the queen. Which this reminds me of six crimson cranes because of the six cranes in the background. This is the joker. So yeah, this is really cool. I do love these. And we have more. We have this is another king. This is a queen, which looks like the daughter of the moon goddess a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. And here is the Joker. 
yeah so i believe they're inspired by like uh, six six of crimson six crimson cranes by elizabeth Lim and daughter of the moon goddess so i believe this is what the cards are inspired by but yeah these are really cute i hopefully i do plan on using these one day hopefully uh just i'm not sure when that is but i'll definitely will keep them on my shelves because who knows i might just actually need them one day and i'll say like oh i got some cards they're just sitting there you know we don't gotta go out and buy some a new deck of cards i have some right here so yeah thank you fairy loot for putting this in my box the threads of fate now we're into the tarot cards which uh in every box they put their tarot cards in there all right so let me get these little things out of the way because they're all over the place so this time we have the high priestess and we have the emperor so here is the high priestess and here is the emperor and so for these two tarot cards it says the tarot cards are illustrated by the Amazing Arts 28 and feature Chang Yi and Lue, both from Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. Okay, so these are pretty. I do like the color. I like the blue in the background. Like I'm a huge blue person because blue is my favorite color. So I do like that. It's like a turquoise greenish color. Love it. So we have our two tarot cards. So I'll keep leave those right there. And now we are down to the book itself which like I said I know what the book is but I want to know what they did with it because I feel like it's going to be amazing they've done such a great job uh for January February March I have a feeling this one is going to be great too all right so as I open it we have our art print with the um author note which I'll be reading to you um because you know it not only will be inspiring to me but also will be inspirational and inspiring to you as well so I do plan on reading this we have the fairy uh, scoop, which gives you more information, which we'll go into that later. And, <laughs> okay, and here is the book. Blood Scion by Deborah Fallier. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm like low-key, like, disappointed with this box. Like, no, I'm not even going to say low-key. I, I am. Like, I really am disappointed with this box. And, yeah. They did not do this book justice but anyways so this is the fairy loot exclusive um it's a little bit different which i'll compare and contrast because i have the um original cover so this is what it looks like here's the original and this is the fairy loot exclusive so you can see the difference uh pretty much with the uh dust jacket which this is more like a peach and like a like a peach reddish pinkish color so you can tell the difference and then of course we just have the sprayed edges now i'm i'm gonna say that i am disappointed because in the last few months for this year they had done a phenomenal job with their special editions and i'm thinking like okay this book is going to be like the bomb and this is what they had they they got like this is what they thought just plain blue i'm like i'm really disappointed and you know this is also a black author um and so i was just you know i was hoping for something more because i could have done this myself you know um but yeah so here's the susu cover if i take the dust jacket off um this is what it looks like which is it's cool and all this is what it looks like it gives you the full body of the main character which is fine um so yeah that's it's okay but I don't know and then we have the end papers which is it's also signed by the author but it's the end papers is not giving me what I want what I need it's not giving uh it's just also the same on this side and I say that it's not giving well I'll show you in a minute so here is the dust jacket so this is what it looks like here and it's just plain like that like there's a main character just standing there so it's really plain and I I don't like that like I think they could have done a better job with this book. They, there could have been so many things they could have done with it, especially when it comes to fire. There could have been like fire, like stencils on here or something, you know? Um, so I'm going to compare. So in the last three months of this year, they had done a phenomenal job. Last month, they did The Girl Beneath the Sea. And here is the sprayed edges. Here's the sprayed edges and the stencil. You see, like, you see that? Like, here's this, that was that. And this is, I believe it was for April. And this is the Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Look at, look at it. This is what they did for Daughter of the Moon Goddess. You see this, right? 
And this is what they did for the other book, Only a Monster by Vanessa Lynn. You see, like, 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 do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I was expecting a lot more. So, like, if you compare and contrast. So, these are the last three books, January, February, and March. And then here is April's. Do you, do you see what I mean? Like, it's just plain blue when they did all this, like, extra stuff to the other ones. Like, now you know why I'm, like, highly disappointed. Like, anybody, I could have done this to my own edition, to my regular edition. Or I could have got somebody else to do it, which I really might actually reach out uh, and get this done just it because this is not it. This is not what I wanted. It's not giving. It's it was it's definitely a disappointment. But anywho, after my rant, <laughs> sorry, but I'm just telling all the truth because that's just not that's just not it. Um, but anyways, if you have read the book, I'll go ahead and read the synopsis. But I've read the book and I love the book. I love Sloan. It's just a fantastic read and I cannot wait for the next book. Um, but it says, A descendant of the Shango, the god of heat and fire. I am a living inferno. I am a dead girl walking. 15-year-old Sloane can incinerate an enemy at will. She is a scion, a descendant of the ancient Orisha gods. But under the brutal rule of the Lucis, her identity means her death. Her mother knew as much. She disappeared trying to hide Sloane's truth. Sloane, too, has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is conscripted into the Lucis army. Once taken, Sloane must not only conceal her power, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucis training. But if she can inf infiltrate the Lucis, she could destroy her enemies, the people who think of her as less than human, the overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Sloane rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so, risks something greater losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. So there we have it. So I loved this book. I did a whole review about it, which I'll leave it up above. You can check it out. I really love this book. Five stars, instant five star for me, five rating. Um, but as far as the exclusive cover, I this is like a one because come, like after I showed you all the editions that they had done this year all, all together, and then they do this for April, like this is really, really a huge downer. And yeah, I just don't like it. Like, yeah, don't like it. But it's okay. It's cool. I'm still going to keep the edition. But I just had to tell you how I feel because I do love Fairy Loop. But this month they have dropped the ball. That's all I'm going to say about it. But anyways, down to the author note, which I'm excited to read. Um, So it says to you, I wrote Blood Scion during a period when I was searching for myself. I was a first generation immigrant, the daughter of two hardworking Nigerian parents who had dreams of a far better future for their children than they had. Yet, as a 12 year old navigating life in a new country, I struggled to find a sense of identity. Growing up, to be African was to be seen as an outsider and to be black was to be made to feel inferior. I changed my name and rejected my culture because I was led to believe that doing so would help me assimilate better with the other kids. It's a familiar experience many immigrant children share being forced to resent and forsake certain parts of our cultures in an effort to feel accepted, to fit in, to survive. But as the years passed, I began to ask myself, who was I if I was not African, Nigerian, Black? The, na the answer to this question would come to me much later. I was in my early 20s, a psychology student in my second year at university when I first met her. Sloan, a magical young girl with a story that demanded to be told, Blood Scion began with her and hers was a story about culture and tradition, the loss of a young girl's identity and her fight to reclaim it. The more I discovered about Sloane's journey, it became clear to me that I was also on a journey of my own. For writing Blood Scion felt like slipping through the cracks of myself to a time and place where home was a two-story compound on the outskirts of Lagos. My grandmother seated on a stone ledge, dressed in her traditional arrow and buba. Sorry, I'm, I'm probably not saying those correctly, those words correctly. Um, as she wove stories about the Orisha gods and goddesses. The more I wrote, the more I started to remember the history and traditions of our people, our sacred beliefs and spirituality. The culture was once taught to be ashamed of, now became something to be embraced and celebrated. They say a book can sometimes be a mirror. And in the years it took to write Blood Scion, that is what this book became for me, a thread connecting me back to my roots, to the pieces of myself that I've been missing for a very long time. I'm truly proud of where this journey has taken me and it is my hope that Sloane's story does the same for you too. With love, Deborah Fallier. Wow. 
like wow sorry that made me want to tear up just a little bit because that's just so it's so real because you want to fit in right so you would do anything to fit in and to stick to the status quo to not only just to be safe but also to be liked and to be cared for but then she finds herself and that's what I loved about Blood Scion because Sloane does find herself it may she may go through a lot of trials and tribulations and um the tr through trials and errors in her life and her decisions but she oh, love this book and just knowing this knowing Deborah Fallier's story and her, why and how, how and when and why she wrote Blood Scion it makes me like I appreciated this book already but it makes me appreciate it a lot more um and me and and I it's inspirational because it says it, it says embrace your blackness your blackness is beautiful blackness is beautiful and I I just love this so I really hope this this note was very inspiring to you if you feel like you are not enough because of the color of your skin because you are and I if you haven't read Blunt Scion go ahead and do so I will I I promise you this is a very very good book I would not recommend it if it wasn't so definitely re definitely pick up this book go to your local library go on Libby uh wherever books are accessible to you how, however you're able to get them definitely get Blood Scion and and read it because it's it's phenomenal and just her story alone and this book it speaks volumes so yeah highly recommend it but anyways, so now we're on to the fairy scoop, which gives you more information about the um, the author interview with Deborah Fallier, and then it goes into details about the edition that we um, that came in the box. Um, it breaks down. It says the exclusive cover, custom end papers signed by the author, artwork on the verse of the dust jacket, sprayed edges, art wrapped around the hardcover. So that's what makes this book exclusive. And then we go into next month's theme, which is Cloak and Dagger. So it says, uh, clandestine missions, midnight meetings, and unlikely alliances. This is one of our favorite set setups for a high stakes fantasy book. You can expect items inspired by From Blood and Ash, Red Rising, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and our feature book of the month. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will include a ceramic mug and the next flow of bookmarks in our mythology collection by Grace Grace Arts. Our featured our featured book of the month is inspired by stories from 1001 Nights. It follows a legendary smuggler, a cowardly prince, and a dangerous quest across the desert to find a legendary mythical lamp. This very little exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, foil, excuse me, foil on the front and back of the hardcover. Artwork on the end papers by uh, Jessica and is signed by the author. It will also come with a letter from the author. So it says, please note, the featured book can be categorized as an adult book. However, we think it falls into adult slash YA crossover category and we consider it to be YA crossover friendly. If you would like to know more about this, please contact us. As always, if you have any active, if you have an active subscription with us, you can sit back and relax as you will automatically get this box. So yeah, I can't wait for next month. I really hope they do better with uh, the exclusive and making it more better than uh, what they did for Blood Scion, uh, which is just this. I think they could have done a, a, a lot better with it, but it is what it is. Um, but that is it. That is my unboxing. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching you guys and please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya.